Shit. Did you hear? Talos Rucker's dead. I heard that somewhere, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, right? Now we can get some real progress. He was making us look like wimps. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Rucker didn't deserve what happened to him. Something tells me our politics aren't the same, Jensen. Me, I think this whole martyr thing is exactly what we need. But, um, let's maybe focus on things we can agree on, huh? Like optimizing that uh, crazy rig of yours. You got a calibrator for me or what? You really think Rucker was the problem? That his death is somehow gonna make things better for Augs? I don't think he was the solution. We need a new leader. Someone a little less beardy McFancy diploma. Someone who's gonna fight, you know? Stand up to some of these bullshit laws. You hear about the Human Restoration Act? Yeah. If the restoration vote passes, I don't know that it's gonna matter very much who the leader is. It's gonna be a government-mandated horror show is what it's gonna be. Men in white coats pulling out augmentations like they are teeth. <sighs> anyway, speaking of medical horrors, you ready for me to fix you or what? This procedure. There won't be any surprises like last time. Last time I was surprised by your crazy tech. But now is totally different. Now I know what's under that hood of yours. And you got me the tool I need. Changes everything. So what are you gonna do exactly? I'm gonna optimize your system. No more worrying about overheating. No more worrying about glitches. Jensen 2.0. Sounds pretty good, right? Alright. Please, tell me this is what a neuroplasticity calibrator looks like. That's the one! Okay, this won't take long, I promise. And don't worry, man, I never screw up two in a row. Spent a lot of time prepping for this one. Just try not to take anything. Wasn't so bad, right? How do you feel? I feel fine. I feel lighter. I fixed you. Death to all your limits. Whatever implant you want to activate, you activate. Zero consequences. That sounds pretty good. Thanks, Kohler. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get out there and make me proud. Go make use of all that cool shit. I've done everything I can for you.
run by criminals and We'll take care of it. Somebody call. I've got Cast it all control. here. Anything. Cheap, expensive, imported, exported, whatever. Disgusting. Proč mě musíte otravovat? Nemám čas. So you found the bomb maker, linked everything to Ark? Not exactly. Jesus, Jensen. We did find the bomb maker. Allison Stanek, a local resident. We have her in custody now. But she told me she'd made dozens more bombs before we arrested her, and she delivered them to Viktor Marchenko. So it was Ark? Something more is going on here, Miller. Have you had a chance to backtrace the pocket secretary I gave you? Not yet, but I will, when I get back to the office. Good. Because Stanek also told me that Marchenko has a base of operations in the Swiss Alps. A research facility called GARM. That sound like something Ark has the resources for to you? I'll contact McCready. Get him and a few analysts to work up a plan. We need to move on this now. Chicane and I can fly there and back, get a lay of the land, while Mac and his team do the research. Really? Got it all figured out in that clockwork head of yours. Oh, what the hell? I'm in. You got enough fuel to get to Switzerland? To get us there, sure. Fine, do it. But this is recon only. Do not engage. Contact me the minute you have something. Yes, sir. You've proven yourself so far on this one, Jensen. Don't screw it up. Tell me that. Miller's not used to giving compliments, is he? He's getting static from the brass. He's starting to riot in Gollum over that shit with Rucker. I'm sure he doesn't blame you much anymore and what do you think I think tracking that bomb maker was some fine work if the intel you got from her stands true Gollum City will be the least of our problems so what do you say we go find out how deep in it we are right you all set Hey, when we get to the Alps, we could get into some action. Are you ready for that? Why? Because I've been flying hack for the last few years. That's the thing about us naturals, Jensen. We never rust. <laughs> Look, I've been doing this a long time. Been in my share of shit, too. I always managed to pull myself out of it. Fair enough. Just don't leave without me. Hey, listen up. I know we're not exactly pals, and I know I can be an asshole. But I'm not a fucking arsehole. In fact, I'm offended you'd even say something like that. That's not what I meant. I'm just messing with you, Jensen. <laughs> you ready? I know you asked me to memorize that speech you gave when we first flew into Gollum together, but... The one about us not being friends ever. But now you want to ask me about my leg, don't you? I'm only curious. We've all got a story. No, that's not it. What you really want to know is, do I hate him? The man that tore out my knee. His name was Lachlan Beats. He was a laborer. 
Worked in the mines up near Bendigo before everything went to hell. Beats was a family man who did what he thought he had to do in order to provide for his family. See, back then, nobody could compete with you Ogs when it came to manual labor jobs. So, he made a choice, if you can call it that. His choice changed your life. You don't resent Beats for what happened? What I resent are the men who coaxed men like him to get augmentations. Men who enforced a system where the rich could buy artificial expertise without thinking about what it would cost all of us in the end. No, I don't resent him. At least not anymore. I was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Story of my life. So look, on that sunshiny note, what do you say we put some miles behind us? Not quite. Let me take care of some things first. You know where I'll be 